Hey everyone, I thought I would share uh, what the current DJI Pilot application for the DJI Inspire looks like. Uh, this is beta, so things are more than likely going to change. Uh, I'm going to show you the first two options here. Uh, the camera and map keep the other two under, wrap, under wraps right now. Uh, the first option is your camera option. It looks pretty much like the DJI uh, uh, Vision, Vision Plus uh, series uh, and a little bit mix of the light bridge. Um, you got your basic telemetry. Uh, on the top you have your flight modes, your GPS, uh, signal strength uh, for both your transmitter and video. Uh, you got your battery obviously. Right hand side is your uh, switch from stills to video and uh, where you open up your uh, camera settings. Left hand side would be your auto takeoff, uh, your gimbal control, uh, auto land, that type of thing. Uh, the first uh, one's your mode, like I told you, this is where you'd also uh, set your limits, uh, minimum, maximum altitude, your distance limit. It's where you'd calibrate your compass. Uh, turn on your beginner mode, uh, travel mode, reset all your settings. Uh, advanced mode is where your gains are hiding. And uh, your fail safe mode. This allows you to uh, adjust your return to home altitude. Very cool feature. Uh, next is your GPS. Um, no option under uh, that tab. The next tab uh, is your transmitter. This is where you would set your uh, RC control settings, your mode 1, mode 2. Um, also your mappable uh, rear buttons uh, for things like resetting the gimbal uh, position, that type of thing. Uh, linking your, your remote control uh, is another option. Uh, set RC function. Uh, that's where you would set uh, either for master and slave. Master would be like your pilot uh, transmitter. Then you would throw your camera operator uh, transmitter into slave. That would allow you to run dual operator. Uh, next is your channel uh, uh, image transmission settings, if you want to call it that. This is like the light bridge uh, page. Uh, Pretty much identical. I would leave it on auto. Custom allows you to lock onto one channel, but I just pretty much let uh, the light bridge do its thing. Uh, another option would be your dual output uh, area, is where you'd set USB and HDMI output uh, on the transmitter. Uh, the other option is turning on your uh, OS, OSD data uh, over HDMI. Next tab would be your battery health monitor and also where you change your low, low battery warnings. Uh, really cool informational page. Uh, also, it allows you to set your self-discharge times. I believe it's five to ten days Yeah, uh, options. Uh, really cool feature. Uh, also, your history. Uh, it'll give you your discharge uh, and charge cycles. Uh, currently not active, but it will be working. On the left hand side would be your auto takeoff, auto land, and also your gimbal uh, functions, uh, FPV mode, reset, uh, lock mode. Uh, on the right hand side uh, would be your start and stop record for video mode. Um, you also uh, throw it into uh, still mode. Uh, we'll go into the camera settings. This is where you'd switch it from auto or to manual. Uh, you could also adjust your shutter and your EV. Uh, function menu lets you pick your image format, either RAW or JPEG and RAW or just standard JPEG. Uh, video format, uh, MP4, your dot .movie format. White balance, uh, auto, uh, or your manual uh, cloudy, neon, that type of thing. Uh, video size options. Uh, your style and also your digital filter options. Down below here uh, is your you know standard uh, head speed, uh, velocity, um, your height, uh, your distance from home and the cool little uh, sonar looking device there. Uh, when it's green it's active, when it's gray it's non-active uh, so you do uh, know uh, if you're in the optic flow range or not. Um, this is a nice little feature. Uh, you can bounce 
to and from uh, the map views, uh, from camera to map view. Really nice. Uh, top left here, uh, you have uh, your current uh, camera settings. So uh, it's real basic, uh, 52 minutes of uh, video left or 976 raw uh, photos. Uh, if you hold down, while you're in photo mode, you hold down the shutter icon uh, or trigger. Uh, this gives you your, your different uh, shot methods. Uh, you got your single shot, you have your triple uh, shot or you can go to five or seven shots in a row. Or you have your uh, A, B, uh, triple shot, or uh, you can do up to five shots uh, in your bracketed mode. Or you have your standard time mode, uh, so five through 30 seconds uh, as options. Uh, we'll, ba uh, we'll go back into your settings. Uh, pretty much this is where you would uh, change your, your units of measure, imperial or metric, uh, enable overexposure, warning, pretty cool option. Uh, you can show your, your grid, quick re uh, review. Uh, you also have your uh, NTSC or PAL uh, settings. You can also uh, reset your camera settings here uh, if you'd want to. If something got really messed up and you just wanted everything back to uh, default, there you go. Um, you Really cool feature, I want to see this done on a lot of their all their different gimbals, is your adjust gimbal, gimbal roll. Uh, this allows you, you know, if the horizon quite ain't perfect, you could sit there and adjust it. Really cool feature. Get back there. Uh, you got your uh, gimbal auto calibration too, you can throw it into. Really cool feature. Uh, you can show your flight routes uh, recorded on your map. Um, so if you go out a long ways, and you, you could just go ahead, turn it around, just follow your, your route right, right on back. Your tutorial settings um, and your about, uh, it will load all your firmware uh, for the application and uh, also uh, for the air and uh, uh, ground side of uh, the hardware. Um, that's about it for the general overview. I don't want to start getting in deep, deep in the settings, that type of thing, because this is a moving target. But uh, like I said, we can go back home and the map feature is the same as uh, you can jump in and out of uh, uh, during the camera view. So it's really just an uh, easy way you could do uh, uh, see your past flight routes when you'd hit map or just go to the camera and then you can jump back and forth uh, of those views. Um, I hope uh, this will kind of hold some of you by. Um, I know it's not a lot. I just wanted to give you a quick little overview, show you how Beautiful the app is. Uh, this is the iOS version. Uh, this is currently running on the uh, iPad Air. Uh, 